Good morning, everyone. Um, I wanted to go back over the fight from last night. Dimitri Bivol, Arthur Better BF. Better be better be of one. Okay. Um, I know it's pretty controversial. I know people don't like the scorecards, 160, 112 specifically. You know, uh, when I was live, I scored at a draw. Okay. Um, I was able to go back and watch it this morning, all right, when I woke up. And I think, you know, when it comes to these these close fights, uh, when I rewatch it, it's, it's for me. And just to talk about it a little bit more and elaborate maybe certain key things that I, I missed out in the first viewing, but our first scorecard should I be our last scorecard. If we're being honest, you know, I thought it was a draw. I honestly don't think either one of them did enough to really win the fight. All right. Uh, it was just too much back and forth. It was too many close rounds. Uh, it was a great display of like high level boxing from both. Um, but rewatching it and the way I had the round scored, I think I gave Bill every single round outside of the third round. All right, let me pull up my scorecard real quick and, and just, I gave Bivol the ninth round in the second half and I gave Better BF the third round in the first half. I thought the first round and the sixth round were swing rounds, all right, that I both gave to Bivol, okay? Uh, when I rewatched it again this morning, you know, I saw that Better BF was really invested to the body early. I didn't realize that while I was watching it live, how many stab jabs to the body he was doing. And that kind of played a part in Bivol in um, just the second half of the fight where he, in my opinion, started to slow down. Um, but again, I scored, I scored at the draw and I'm cool with that. Um, I looked at the official scorecards, right? And we had a draw. We had a 115, 113 for a better BF and a 116, 112 for better BF. Those scorecards, all three, all three of those scorecards, I believe, had at least three rounds uh, for better BF in the first half, okay? Um, even the, the judge that scored at a draw. Uh, it's just, this goes to show that I can watch and look at the official scorecards and I can go and look at the fan scorecards or the content creator scorecards or whoever else decides to put their scorecard on the internet and the, the rounds are all over the place okay because the way I scored it I gave better be of one round in the first half and be one round in the second like I think they both clearly did better in certain parts of the fight you know and even the rounds that I scored for each, they were very close rounds. You know what I mean? So um, I'm not going to scream robbery. All right. I'm not going to do it. It's just even eight to four. Again, two of those rounds, swing rounds that I give the big bill. They could have gone to better be in my opinion, you know, and I'm not going to score scream robbery. You know um, what I will say is that we deserve an immediate rematch immediately. Uh, but it was a good fight, uh, and I did. I think they should have a reason. It's just too close of a fight. What they did last night, and I said this last night, but what they did was really prove that they were the two best guys all this time. You know, because no, neither one of them came that close to losing before. Neither one of them. All right. Uh, up to this point, I thought it better be as close as fight was the Alexander Volstic fight, right? And he still stopped them in 10 rounds. Most competitive fight, though, without a doubt. And I think Bivol's probably the Craig Riches fight. You know, I think Craig uh, Bivol had it struggled the most in that fight, right? But he didn't almost lose. It just was a more competitive fight than what we're used to seeing with Bivol. I think Bivol probably at least lost four rounds in that fight. All right. Um, with all that being said, these two are clearly the best. Um, I am not interested in seeing them fight anybody else. You know, we have Yard out there who, who better be already beaten. But we have guys like Josh, Joshua Boati who's undefeated, you know, and he's at the top. Um, you know, Benavides just moved up to the division and it's cool. Morel did too. Those guys are all good. 
you know, um, but I don't want to see anybody else fight those two. You know, if we're, if we're talking 175, uh, those, the only fight I want to see is a rematch. Okay. But as far as like scorecards and all of that, scorecards are over the place. You know, it's not like I, my scorecard is different from everybody's scorecard and how to draw, you know, so it can take a judge. And I think they're going to a petition to, to have this, this, this decision overturned. You know, I'm talking about Bivol's team because they really felt that they were robbed. Um, I don't think it's going to work, you know, because I just think the rounds are too close. And even if you rewatch it, you're going to see points of each round with, where a fighter is winning. I, I think Bivol was definitely the most accurate, you know, because he, he landed uh, damn near half all, of all of his shots. But who was more effective? You know, I, I read a message. Uh, I don't know if Pivot said this right after the post-fight interview. Uh, but I did watch the post-fight interview, the official one. I don't know if he said which interview he said this, but I saw on Michael Benson's t uh, t uh, Twitter saying Pivot said that the blocks were heavy and he felt like his, his his thumb was literally swollen and he felt like his thumb was going through his head from blocking so much, you know? And I know the blocks uh, are not considered clean punching, you know, but it is it does have an effect, you know? And if a fighter is just beat up from blocking, um, it just goes to show how hard this guy was hitting when he did land. You know what I mean? Um, he didn't land nearly as much. Oh, he did land as much because their punch stats are, are as far as punches landed, are, are almost equal, just about equal. It's just the accuracy of Bivol. Bivol do a lot less and landed a lot more, which was expected by all of us. We all knew that Bivol was more defensive and more accurate with his punches. You know, it's just that he's not a bigger puncher than Better BF. You know, and um Better BF coming forward throughout the the entire fight and, and forcing him to move uh, laterally throughout the entire fight. Um, whoever's watching it on a better BF and is looking at those key things and saying, like, I'm re I mean, I'm reading the comments and people are like, Oh, this guy, you're not gonna win a fight running that much, or you know, the guy's putting on pressure, he's the harder puncher, yada yada yada. I'm, it's not a robbery. It's not even a 160, 112. This is not a robbery. It's not a robbery. Um, I can't. I can't even call it and make an argument for a robbery when the scorecards are that different from that point with everybody. You know. Um, but personally, I don't think either one of them did enough to clearly win the fight. So that's why I want to see a rematch immediately. You know. Um, better be if I don't know what he wants to do. You know, Bivol has already said that he wants to rematch. Better be if I don't know if he wants to rematch. You know, I don't know if he's going to go and move up. I don't know if he's going to retire. You know, I mean, this was this would be a great way for him to retire in his legacy. Um, he's going to go down with one of the greatest light heavyweights, and that's cool. But I think the fight was too close. Not saying he didn't win the fight. But even if he did win, it was too, too close. And I think uh, you should want to run it back, you know? And if it's true, like, you you had an injury. You had a leg injury before this fight. I don't know. Maybe if you don't get injured this time leading up to the fight, you'll do even better. Maybe you'll get that stoppage that you wanted, you know? But um, I think they should run it back, you know, regardless – I'm not getting into the robbery talk, but regardless, it was so close. It was so good. We got to see it again, you know? And I think it, when it does go down, I'll probably be predicting Bivol. I'm sorry, better be able to win again, simply because if Bivol didn't win on the on decision after landing that much, he's probably going to feel like he needs to fight harder in a rematch which can lead to, you know, there was a round in there. I can't remember the round, but it was a round when he got caught with a left hook. He was going on with the combinations. I think he started doing too many combinations and got caught with a shot and he got, he got bust. 
Okay. And then he was on retreat mode for the remainder of the round. Um, those later rounds, I think, were clear for better BF. The rounds that I gave the better BF in the second half were the more, the clearer rounds for me. Whereas Bivol was easily, well, I want to say easily. That's not the right, right word, but Bivol was definitely outlanding and he was landing the cleanup punches definitely in the first half. Um, but he started to slow down. You know, once he started to slow down again, I think I didn't notice on the first watch how much better people was stabbing him to the body. If with all those power shots that were being blocked, all that moving you have to do, that's when Bivol started to put his backs on ropes, all right, stay in that high guard, and he started getting pummeled from better BF from all angles. Good fight. We need a rematch. Hopefully we get it. Um, shout out to everyone that was here last night. Um, had a good time. And um, I got a few more videos to do. So be here. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.